Next up, uh, a solitaire game called Sensor Ghosts, which I'm giving a 4 out of 10 to. This is from uh, a company that's made a couple of other solitaire games, and I very much like the first one they came out with. I can't remember exactly what it's called now. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. It's a great solo game. I think it's fantastic. And this was a follow-up to that, kind of thematically. But it is just a headache in a box. It has a bunch of memory. It has a bunch of rules. And then the manipulation of the game continues to get in your way. You just can't quite move things out of the way so you can get to some fun. You can set up this whole thing try to understand how these asteroids move in space, make one move and die. Like I said, memory, there is simply too much happening for the return that might or might not work. It's not satisfactory. I just thought it was such a letdown after the first solo game was so clever and interesting and easy to understand. This has None of those things. It feels designed to counteract all of those points. Uh, the only one is that it, it kind of looks cool. I thought their first game looked really neat, the, you know, the art style. This one is not as cool looking, but it kind of looks cool. Everything else is a letdown for me. Very disappointed by Sensor Ghosts, uh, and certainly not one I would recommend to solo gamers looking for a small game. There are so many better games for that.